Hello. As I've mentioned before, I like Doom Emacs. Um, and one of the things that I like, and I like Space Max as well, of the way they look. Um, one of the things that I really like is the dashboard that you get when you first start, start Emacs up. Uh, and I use it all the time. It's really useful. So today we're going to set it up. Um, so this is, you know, roughly kind of what it looks like or what it can look like. Um, so yeah, we're going to get going. Um, it's worth noting, like it says here, that it does work with projectile, which is great. And it does work with all the icons, which um, we have already set up. Funnily enough, it's as though this was planned to be in order. Um, okay, so let's just get going. So we're going to use package dashboard. Uh, we're going to ensure that it's there. And then we're going to on um, startup, on Emacs startup, we're going to invoke the dashboard setup startup hook. Um, and I will execute that now. So that should be that should be done. So what I can do is I can create a buffer called dashboard. If I go to that buffer, yep, confirm. I can then mx dash or meta x alt x dashboard because we've got it installed. Refresh buffer, and then there we go. So this is what you'd see by default when you install Emacs, uh, when you install dashboard. So some of the things to go over here. So you have this nice icon at the top. You got a little welcome message. Uh, it tells you how many packages were loaded and how long it took, which is quite nice. You have recent files, recent files section, a bookmark section, an agenda for today section, and then a little, um, little bit of text like a footer, basically. And each of these sections you can move about. So you can press um, Control I, or you can press Tab. Uh, you can also shift tab to go back items. So if I was up here, the cursor's up here by default, you can see here recent files R, R is a shortcut that goes back. And when I did refresh the thing, I typed dashboard, when I refresh dashboard, I dashboard, refresh buffer. Um, as it says there, you can also just press G and it'll update. So that's the basics. It just shows recent files. So if I now go to no, I want to go back to my config. Um, let's add some configuration. So if you look down here, there's quite a lot of configuration um, to update banner, banner title, which items you see, all of this good stuff. So we will start with, what should we start with? Let's start with the items. Let's get projectile showing. So if we um, prog in it, and then in here, we want to do set queue. Where is it? Dashboard items. And then I want to see recents. And here you can see the number that we want to see. I actually want to see one, want to see one recent file. That's all I want to see. Don't know why you do that, but that's what I want. I don't want bookmarks, but I want projects. And I want to see one of those. And I don't want anything else, I don't think. Save that. Uh, let's execute. And then if I go back to dashboard and I press G, you can see it's updated. So then I can press R to go to recent uh, recent files and P to go to recent projects. Wonderful. Okay, so we've started. We've started configuring already. Wow, so easy. Um, so you can see on here that, like I said, there's the shortcut recent files is R, projects is P. Uh, you can get rid of that if you want. So set queue dashboard show shortcuts null nil. Which one does that close? That needs to go there. Yep, yeah, that's right. So if I execute that, go back here, refresh, they've gone. Good stuff. We're we're on a roll. Let's just get that down there. Um we can also if we wanted to dash, if I could spell dashboard center content, I can set that to true. Execute that. Go back here. Press G. Things are centered. I don't particularly like that, so I'm just gonna get rid of that. What happened there? Okay. 
Uh, what else can we do? We can dashboard. Oh, set cube. We can update some of the the other items on there, so we can um, dashboard banner logo title. Hola. Sorry about the lack of accent. So you can see it says "Welcome to Emacs." Here, if I press G, hola. So you can change that message. So you can say uh, "Follow and tip." like and subscribe because you know shilling myself out for for all those sweet sweet um <sighs> sweet sweet follows and tips and likes and subscribes so that's what life is gee there we go okay oh trying to go too fast I'm, I'm thinking faster than i can type set to queue what else can we do we can have little icons. So if you look up here, got nice little icons here. Let's do those. Let's get those icons next to files. We've we've already got all the icons, so why not show them? Execute that. Go back here. G. Lovely. Um, I wonder. I don't know if this will work. So I'm not sure where the um, section, the heading um, icons come from. But let's see if we can. I've never actually turned this on, so. Oh, we do get them. Ooh, look at that. What else can we do? We can. Um, so, I mean, that's not a very nice Emacs logo. That's a nice Emacs logo. That, um, I'm not that bothered about. I barely ever see it. But we can change the, the image at the top. So dashboard startup banner and I'm just going to do it too because you know I want people to like and subscribe and follow and tip me.png something's not closed yes it is Fine. go there G oh it didn't work why didn't that work downloads hey look at that Oof. Um, that's probably bigger than it needs to be so yeah, I mean, I could go on. There's there's more configuration. You can do more things. Um, that's just quickly setting up the way that I like it. So we have things, dashboard items. You get to select your the items that you want to see. I want to see recents and projects. If I had agendas, I could show that. If I had bookmarks, I could show that. All useful things in Emacs. Um, show shortcuts. I don't want to see that. I've memorized them. I don't need to see them. So just tidy it up a little bit. The center text. I don't want it centered. I mean, if you, if you just leave it default, it won't center, but because I set it to I, true, I've just set it to nil to remove that. You can change the banner logo title, so the title underneath the top image that I just changed, um, and that could be any text you want. You can set to show file icons, the icons for the headings for the different sections. Uh, I've changed the startup banner image at the top, and obviously you can change that to what you want. You can remove it if you want as well, I believe. Um, it's in here somewhere. I said the official logo, alternative Emacs logo, um, and then text or path. Yeah, so you could do that. Um, start banner. There's some, you can insert custom widgets as well, which is quite nice. Um, if you, I don't know, if you've got a different um, mode, uh, a different plugin or um, extension or whatever that you want to hook into, you can do it there. Icons, we've done that. Um, you can change the icons if you want different icons because. I mean, if you don't want a rocket ship for a project and you don't want time for recent files. Um, oh, so you can uh, show navigation, but navigator below. I wonder what that does. Let's have a go. I've not actually done that before. Dashboard set navigator to true. Hmm, what didn't happen? That's written. That's true. Interesting. Oh, and then oh, okay, I see. And then you need to add the links. So that shows the links. I should have kept reading. So that shows the links that you get here. Homepage update restart. Cool. I mean that's pretty useful. If you you know use Emacs as your starting point for loads of things, I guess you could because you've got projects and recent files. You could um, you know have a section or up here have links to directly to files that you go to very frequently, which. I quite like. That's quite nice. Um, 
yeah, you can remove the, the, the line that says how many things have been initialized. Uh, you can change that message and you can also change the footer at the bottom that I said. And then there's loads of stuff to do with org mode. Like, yeah, I mean, and there's a bunch of shortcuts as well. You know, so it's a very powerful thing. It's really nice when you first start up Emacs to have this kind of screen, this customizable screen that you can, you know, have what you want on. As you can see, it takes in the theme, uh, my theme's colors. Uh, yeah, it's it's great. Um, thanks for watching. Really quick, bit rambly, but I, I'm pretty excited about it. I wanted to show it. Um, let me know what you think. As you know, as it says here, follow and tip, like and subscribe. And yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next time. See you in the next time. See you in the next one. Cheers. Bye.